f2 f3 would allow black to play bishop g7 h6 with almost immediate equality Queen d1 d3 would allow black to play. Rook f8 d8. A key idea is Bishop e2 f3. d6 d5. e4 captures d5. Queen h4 takes on b4. When black is in the game. d6 d5. After Rook c1 c7 d6 d5 Rook c7 captures b7 d5 d4 Bishop e3 d2 Rook a8 b8 Black has some counter chances, though white is still better because of his passed pawn on the queen side Black is threatening the e4 pawn, but white should protect it in a way that makes sense. As black's active options are, d5 and, f5, the white bishop is ideally placed on the passive looking f3 square. Another classic case of a bad bishop defending good pawns, suba. The difference from a truly bad bishop is that this one has prospects, while a really bad bishop would have none. Bishop e2 f3. Bishop g7 h6 would drop a piece to g2 g3 Rook f8 d8 Rook c1 c7 Rook a8 b8 This is the critical position in the sense that I got it wrong. Basically white's poorly placed piece is the RF1. My main cop out is that I was a considerably weaker player back then and did not pay as much attention to my poorly placed pieces as I should have. Even in my notes to the game in my private files, I do not pay any special attention to the inactive rook. The correct continuation was therefore. Queen d1 d2. The immediate threat of winning the queen wins valuable time. In the game I played weakly with g2 g3 queen h4 f6 h2 h4 h7 h6 This was what I was hoping for, and I assumed that my next move would be really strong. However, it does nothing about bringing my worst placed piece into the game. King g1 g2 would still have kept a real advantage h4 h5 I'm not sure if I'm going too far when I say that this is a positional blunder but it is certainly not a good move g6 captures h5 Somehow I had not considered this natural move. I have to recapture or black will play, h4. Bishop f3 captures h5. d6 d5. Black has counter play. White is maybe a bit better, but there is a lot of work needed to win this game, which I eventually did. Queen d1 d2. The immediate threat of winning the queen wins valuable time. h7 h6 Rook f1 a1 d6 d5 Would give black a lot of unnecessary counterplay, based on the point that e4 captures d5 e5 e4 not only wins back the d-pawn, but also creates a double threat to a1 and f3. 
White could struggle on with. Queen d2 c1. But it would hardly be fun. d6 d5. Would give black a lot of unnecessary counterplay, based on the point that. g2 g3. Prophylaxis against the d5 break. Queen h4 f6. Bishop f3 g2. The bishop returns to safety, allowing white to follow up with ra1 a7 with a close to decisive advantage. Black will not be able to play, d5 in a meaningful way, as the e5 e4 tricks are gone. 